a bit different. Um, I'm trying to find a bit of information about this lamp. I bought it here in England, but it is in fact an American lamp. Um, if anyone can throw any light onto the age of these, I can remember a neighbour having one of these in the late 1950s when I was in America. I uh, vaguely remember it. Um, that shows you the base. It's a very heavy base. It's gilt painted. Um, sort of standard lamp. It has your three lights outside which come on one, two or three. And in the main lamp you have a large lamp, a 300 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt lamp. What we'll do, we'll turn it on so you get a little idea of what it does. You probably will know this because I think they're quite a popular item in America. There's your one light on. Goes now to two and now to three. That's the three smaller lamps. You can put any bulbs in, well within reason. They can either put, put, either put a candle type lamp in or these ones are 15 watt uh, American bulbs again which Funny enough, I bought over here in a flea market in Bournemouth a whole box full nearly, so how they came over here I don't know, but it did, and that's those. Now, I can turn these off, and the big one, that's at the lowest power, the second power, and the third. As you can see it throws out quite a bit of light. It's a tungsten bulb but I believe uh, they do make them in the uh, the other CFL type but I'm not a hundred percent certain on that one. There's the lamp itself. Uh, what else can I say about it? That's more or less all about the actual lamp. It's quite ornate I think you can fit a shade on these but I don't quite know how. The glass globe is this sort of milk glass. Very heavy, very well made and certainly not made in China. I will just show you the actual bulbs that I'm using in it. First three, the small one, as you can see it's a GE. 30 A15. A15 I think refers to the lamp size. 130 volt which is a little bit unusual but uh, as I say I wasn't going to argue it was a box of about I don't know a goodly amount in the box and I cast it all the way back from from Bournemouth. Whenever I see a boot sale or a flea market I'll go in there if I can. So you know, you never you never know what turns up. Anyway, let's look at the other bulb. Now the other bulb I actually brought back from America when I went over about 13 years ago, I believe it was. I want to go over again, but um, as you can see, it's a hundred, two hundred, three hundred. It's a little bit rubbed up, rubbed away. It's a GE bulb. With a large screw base. I know when I was in in America as a kid uh, many years ago because my mother was actually brought up in America. Um, this house was next door to where I was staying. It was a house in Nutley, New Jersey. I can remember it as if it was yesterday. One of the one of the filaments blew and they took me and the bulb to one of their local shops to actually buy one. And if I can remember it was a much larger bulb then. Now I'm going back to the 50s so if anyone else knows uh, I, they can confirm this. But it was the same type of bulb, probably not a white, I think it might have been a pearl or a frosted. It might have even been half frosted. I believe they made one that was partly red which I think were used in funeral parlours. 
anyhow, that's all I've got to say on this subject. I put this in for all your interested people, but for other people interested in just the form of the lamp. And um, Andy, who he he will know who I'm talking about because we were talking about these. So anyhow, have a good look. Any comments, please leave. I hope I haven't driven you all to sleep. And thank you again. Thank you.